Hello, my name is Chinedu Omenkuku from Kids Cool Cloud Services, and I'll be walking you through a functionality on Camellio. I did a, lot, a previous video on YouTube called Camellio Overview, where we walked through all the different functionalities you can get from using Camellio. But for this video, I'll be concentrating on just one of those functionalities. Because recently I got a lot of questions on how to use already existing sites or, man or create new websites on Camellio, I've decided to do a video on sites. Now you can see sites at the left hand side of your screen. So click on sites, it takes you to a different dashboard that shows you all the sites you have. You get some analytics from your site. You can edit. You can decide to publish or unpublish the site. You see your URL of your site and all that nice stuff. So I'll quickly walk you through how to add sites, how to manage sites. Um, I, must, I must say now that this video is not a web developer video. I'm just going to try to show you the power of Camellio. You know, Camellio has a very rich website builder, has some very, very nice functionality that I would like to show you. And um, I'm sure you can take it up from there. So to, to add a site is pretty simple. You see the button there, add sites. You click on that and it will give you an option to choose what type of site you want to create. Now you have two options here. You can decide to create a present site or to create a mobile website. Now a present site is a site that will display both on your traditional PC, on the tablet and also on your smartphones. Whereas a mobile site you're designing basically for smartphones. So we choose uh, build a present site. It will show us some templates we can choose from. We've got plenty of templates here. Depending on what you want to do, you want to create a normal site, an e-commerce site, landing page, one-page site. So it's your choice. Choose whatever you want to choose. Right now, we're displaying everything. So we can see, you can preview before choosing the templates so you know what you're working with or what you'll be working with. And you see, uh, this, for instance, is a one-page site. It's a responsive one-page site. You can check out what it looks like on the PC, what will it look like on a smartphone. You can also check that out. What will it look like on an iPhone? You can also check that out. Um, so yeah, you, you have a lot to play with. And you can also see what it will look like on the tablet. Pretty cool, yeah? Okay, yes, and if you're integrating it as a Facebook app on your Facebook page, guess what? You also see what it looks like. So if you're satisfied with what you see, um, again, you might not really be satisfied. For instance, you see how somehow deformed this look like. You have the option of um, editing, modifying it, you know, when you now want to edit your site. So don't get too worried about this. Um, you can rectify it or it's a simple web developer can work with it. But, but this looks fine, so we'll, we'll work with this. What you may want to start with is giving your site a name. Let's give this orange, for instance, so we can create our site called orange. And what happens is it gives you the option of choosing if you want to go straight to edit your site or go back to the admin to see what you've done. Um, so let's go to the admin page, see what we've done. We've successfully created a new website and you'll see that pop up in um, the dashboard where we have our websites. We just give that a minute to load and you see our new website called Orange. So you see it gives it a system generated URL. This is very important because eventually when you want to link this to your existing domain name, say you bought orange.com from a domain name provider, 
uh, you'll most likely be pointing your C name to this for the domain and that will make it feel very seamless. So let us go ahead to, you see now it's not published because the status is on off. If I wanted to publish this, I'll just click here and the site goes live. But we've not done anything yet, so we could go back and see what the site builder looks like. So we clicked on edit to help us load the site builder. Give that a minute also, and you'll see a very nice site builder with plenty of options, very rich options that really you can you can create any kind of site from this, no matter what it is, you can create really any kind of site. So we took the site builder to the cloud, beautiful. Every action you take is now automatically saved to the cloud, fine. You can undo and redo all actions until you get it right, which is also good. And no problem, you can easily revert back to the last versions you like. So this is just a pop-up screen that is trying to talk about some of the features of the web builder. So I will click this so that it doesn't pop this up next time I log into this page and I'll tell them, here, I got it. So from this point, you can edit anything you want to edit, right? You can change the weddings. All right, just need to delete this, sorry. You can change the weddings, change the pictures, change these buttons. You know, it's really, really very, very intuitive. You can really play around with it as much as you want. Uh, I want to walk you through these options you have at the sidebar. So for the sites, you can create new sections. You can add new sections, create new master page. You know, these this sections here, what you see up here. So for instance, you want to add a new one, you can add it, it's very, very easy to do. In fact, it's as easy as just clicking add a new page, select the kind of page you want. Uh, what do you want to be in that page? Let me say frequently asked questions, for instance. How do you, what kind of format do you want it to come out in? You choose one and you're done. And then you'll see an FAQ option come up here. So I've, we've created this extra page which is nice and you see it here. So we can decide to go home and um, walk from home. So you can really go to any of these extra pages here and do what you want to do, you know. It's really, it's really up to you, the web developer, what you want to achieve. And uh, you have a toolbox here, very rich toolbox that has virtually every possible option you can think of. You can add new titles, images, maps, um, tabs, media, menu, social plugins, you know, forms, cards, or e-commerce type of things, all to your website. Amazing. Uh, you could Create, add all the kind of medias you want, pictures you're going to use for your sites. Uh, if you already have an existing site and you are migrating it to Camellio, you may want to download all the pictures there, upload everything here at once and use it when designing your new design. Let me note at this point that if you already have another existing website hosted on another hosting account, maybe built on WordPress or Magento or what have you, what you will likely do if you want to migrate it to Camellio is to rebuild it on Camellio. Uh, but you could get all the pictures, for instance, so you don't have to start from the scratch, and then your web developer would know what to do. So I'm just pointing that out. You can change the theme, change the colors, change the fonts, change your transition patterns and all that nice stuff. You can do all that here. And then you can also edit your URL do some search engine optimization, view your company data. If you remember in our previous video, one of the first things I said you need to do is to, to fill up your company data. You know, If you had done that 
at this point, you see all those things you failed initially, and it will just be so much easier for you because um, it picks the names from here or some data from here and imputes it to your site. Very beautiful. So for the URL, assuming, for instance, eventually I want this site to be... I actually bought a domain. I have a domain in my hand. You know, I bought from namecheap.com or webforafrica.com. And my domain name is orange.com.ng, for instance, right? All you need to do is to put it here. And no need of putting any redirects. So what you now need to do is you go to your DNS control panel. And then for this domain, you have to set the C name to this here. And once you do that, by the time you go to that domain on any browser, it will pop up whatever you've designed on this web builder or on Camellia. So it's very, very easy to do. You could do some search engine optimization. So if you had the um, an analytics webmaster tool you wanted to configure here, I must add also that on every page, so searching in number optimization is a complete, it's not really complicated actually if you know what you're doing. But it's all about uh, putting some particular metadata on your site so that uh, search engines can actually pick it up easier, faster. And the key here is to be unique, to make sure that you, you kind of find a way to stand out so that the search engine can pick you out easily so after all this is said and done you see you can view what you're doing in the different modes desktop mobile tablets you can revert you can view the history of all what you've designed so far and revert to any point in time you can preview what it will look like when at the present state you are and you can also decide to publish it right now so whatever you do, it's up to you. You can save and come back later and continue, or you can exit and go back to, you can exit the site builder and go back to your um, Camellio control panel. So that is really, really um, very easy. You see an example of an e-commerce site um, I'd created before. Uh, it's a very simple e-commerce site. We could preview it, um, didn't do much editing by the way, but um, you, you, you really see, so you see we changed the domain name to my own personal domain name I have somewhere, shop.duntro.com. If I had gone to a different browser and done shop.duntro.com, it would take me to my Camellio page, which is which is fantastic. I can do what I want to do, shop, add to cart. All this is going to be managed by Camellio, and you can get it all up to your checkout process. So I can decide to check out, you know, fill all this nice stuff and, okay. So like I said initially, you can design everything from e-commerce sites to blogs to corporate websites to service-oriented websites and this will show you all your statistics it will show you have a small analytics here you see your number of visits the visitors uh, people that viewed how many pages they viewed and you know it gives you some info of how the public actually interacts with your websites so I would stop here. If you have specific questions you want me to answer, feel free to drop a comment on the YouTube page. If you have specific things you want me to demo in a video, also feel free to drop your comments on the video. Thank you very much and have a lovely day.